We want to uh, look at this breakthrough, meanwhile, in biotech as well. Some of the industry's biggest names are teaming up for a new moonshot effort to treat life-threatening diseases like cancer and Crohn's disease. Cellularity has already raised $250 million in capital funding. It is backed by a wide array of business leaders, including former FDA Commissioner Andrew von Essenbach, former Apple CEO John Scully, and founder of Google Ventures Bill Maris. The, the big theme that I think we could be spending more on is solving the question of aging. Is Can we treat aging itself like a disease that can be uh, slowed or possibly reversed? So, you know, we, we go through a process of continual renovation and renewal. That's why we morph from a young form to an older form. During that process, we actually deplete, we exhaust the reservoir of stem cells. Joining us right now for First on Fox interview is the founder, chairman, and CEO of Cellularity and the founder of CellGene Cellular Therapeutics, Dr. Bob Hariri. And you two are also both co-founders of Human Longevity, which I'm a big fan of. And of course, I know that the pre-company to the human longevity was really the mapping of the genome, mm -hmm. which has taught us so much about disease and where we are today. Isn't that right? That's right. I mean, I think we have greater insights into the things which are, are the molecular basis for disease, and we'll be able to uh, decipher and decode that and be able to intervene before disease occurs. Hello. Cellularity is a very compelling company that after some deep drilling, I believe could be an explosive biotech growth stock in the coming future. And I want to share this with you. Their SPAC merger with GX acquisition was originally announced in January and is set to go through between now and July the 31st. So there is still time to hopefully jump on this pre-merger. Let's drill deep into the company and more. Stay tuned. Keep it simple. For those of you new to the channel, I am The Simple Trader and I bring to you WPG stocks, yes, explosive exponential potential growth stocks that I'm looking to buy or already have sitting in my freedom portfolio. I am not a financial advisor, so please note this is all for entertainment only. No more plugging. Let's start drilling. Cellularity, a company that's focused on delivering novel, innovative cellular therapies to treat everything from cancer to immunologic disease to age-related conditions to degenerative diseases. Cellularity is a next-generation biotechnology company creating off-the-shelf cellular medicines for cancer, infectious diseases, and degenerative diseases. This is where they turn living cells into medicines, and Cellularity does this by harnessing the power of allogenic placental-derived cells. The placenta was the place that all the cells that would create the human being were formed. It was, I think of it as a 3D printer that creates the baby and this amazing organ is thrown away at the end of birth. Early on when I had made that observation, I, uh, I put my scientific team on a mission to identify why the placenta was so good at blocking cancer. And we identified a novel type of cell called a natural killer cell that is in essence pre-programmed to, to hunt out and destroy or defend against invading cancer cells. Now that's incredibly elegant as a therapeutic tool. And so we embarked on a mission to turn that living cell from the placenta into a cellular medicine. They start with the placenta, which is an organ that develops in a mother's uterus during pregnancy. This organ provides everything needed to support the life and growth of a baby while it is still inside the mother. The placenta attaches to the wall of the uterus and the baby's umbilical cord arises from it. After birth, the placenta detaches from the uterus. Cellularity works with donors of placenta to convert this plentiful and normally discarded source material into potential therapeutics with a single placenta capable of yielding upwards of 100 to 100,000 doses depending on the therapeutic. This is what makes it extremely scalable. The thing of the placenta is the 3D printer that prints the baby. It has the richest yep. source of stem cells. And those stem cells and the uh, immunological cells can be used for fighting cancer can be used for fighting autoimmune disease, yep. can be used ultimately for regrowing organs. So with all biotechs, what is the actual pipeline? They have a total of five cell therapy product candidates in phase two slash one trials. What stands out for me is CYNK001, which is targeting acute myeloid leukemia and APPL001 
which is targeting Crohn's disease. Both these for me would be game changers in the market and we know what happens when a cancer curing drug goes to phase two and gets positive results. Yes, an explosion in stock price. It's over. It's over. CYNK001 is their lead therapeutic program, which from the data that is available could be an absolute game changer. Why? Let's drill a little deeper. We should first note that CYNK001 has been granted fast track approval status from the FDA and is according to Cellularity, the only cryopreserved allogenic off the shelf natural killer, or NK for short, cell therapy being developed from placental stem cells as a potential treatment option for various hematologic cancers, solid tumors, and infectious diseases. Why? Because NK cells are a unique class of immune cells innately capable of targeting cancerous cells and interacting with your natural adaptive immunity. The application is being investigated for the treatment for multiple cancers, including multiple myeloma, MM, acute myeloid lymphoma, AML, and glioblastoma multiform, GBM, as well as, wait for it, COVID-19. Just this potential alone could send this company, in my opinion, into the stratosphere. Currently, the trials for phase one slash two were completed with results showing positive safety data with the estimated study completion date of June the 30th. We could be expecting final results anytime towards the end of this month. Now, in the case of COVID-19, we are not talking vaccines here. We are talking a medicinal cure for contraction of this lethal virus. Actually, we're using both stem cells and immune cells, which are which are derived from those stem cells, in order to provide a, a, a boost to the the immune system of these patients who are fighting this virus. Yes. Yeah, so we we received uh, clearance from the FDA, who accepted our IND, our investigational new drug application, and we are now, as we speak, treating patients uh, first to demonstrate the safety of this approach. And then, and then immediately thereafter, we're going to be looking at demonstrating that this is having an impact on reducing the viral load. So what we know is that there's a difference between people who get infected and develop serious disease and those of us who can, who can uh, get by this with minimal symptoms. In fact, uh, uh, many people don't even know they have this. It's all based upon the integrity of our own immune system. And so what we are proposing is that this product is used in patients who are documented to have the virus but are early enough in the development of symptoms that we can have an impact on keeping that viral load from ever spiking. If you can do that, we believe we can control the serious adverse effects such as these serious pneumonias that are, that are killing people. I think about it this way. We all know from the experts that COVID-19 is probably not going away anytime soon and could become endemic just like the flu. Then, if CYNK001 is successful, it could become the go-to medicine for all future cases. Then, oh me, oh my. Let's go home! Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! It may surprise you to know that Cellularity have in fact two commercialized products in the form of Bivance and Interfil. These are both wound care biological products. However, last year Cellularity had agreed to license both Bivance and Interfil to Sanuwave Health Inc. together with the sale of their Ultra Mist Ultrasound Healing Therapy platform. Sanuwave Health Inc. just got stronger, having completed what is being called the most transformative event in its history by acquiring Cellularity's Ultra Mist Ultrasound Healing Therapy Device. Sanuwave also acquired two other Cellularity assets, BioVance and Interfil, with the first showing a unique ability to adhere to wounds to provide a natural foundation for healing, and the latter repairing damaged soft tissue to expedite the wound healing process. What's the takeaway? Sanuwave is now marketing a comprehensive treatment portfolio that can effectively address the entirety of the wound healing process. And the combined strength of Dermapace, Ultramist, BioVance, and Interfil can potentially set the new standard of care in the chronic wound care treatment market. 
for SanyuWave and its shareholders. That result would create a value-driving windfall. The overall deal, although never disclosed by Cellularity since they are not a public company, was disclosed by Sanyue since they are a public company and was in the region of $24 million. This was paid through a mixture of common stock and warrants. The licensing part, which includes the Interfill and BioVance products, however, should bring in future recurring revenues. I do note that this information is nowhere to be seen in the Cellularity GXGX investor presentation, which to me is a little bit strange. This brings us straight into the SPAC merger with GXGX acquisition, which was announced in early January this year. Upon the merger going through, Cellularity will be trading under the ticker symbol CELU or CELU. What puts some legitimate firepower into the mix, I think, is that Vice Chairman of the Board of Cellularity is none other than John Scully. And if it's the first time you've heard this name, then here is his CV. He was the former 10-year CEO of Apple between 1983 and 1993. Before that, he was the president of PepsiCo between 1977 and 1983 and was vice president for seven years before taking the helm. It's safe to say this guy has a blockbuster CV and with his experience, I expect him to lead cellularity forwards into profitability and explosive growth in the future. The transaction values cellularity at $1.25 billion. It will include a pipe placement of $80 million. And as we already know, the combination is set to go through between now and July the 31st. Now, here's where the whole thing gets incredibly next level for me. On the 5th of May, Cellularity announces a strategic partnership with none other than Palantir. Yes, Palantir which also includes equity investment into Cellularity from Palantir. The previous $80 million pipe is now said to be worth 100 million, meaning the investment from Palantir could be up to $20 million. The key part for me is that Cellularity will have the foundry platform to fuel and advance its cellular therapies, which I think will be huge for development of their pipeline moving forwards. As COO Shyam Sankar said, great AI is only possible with the best data sets, and we are excited to partner with Cellularity to unlock the potential of health data and redefine the cell therapy landscape. If you have been watching my other videos, you will know that Palantir is my number one highest conviction stock for the next three to five years. So the fact that Cellularity have this investment and partnership with Palantir for me is big. As you know, Palantir is an absolute world leader in the creation of software systems that, that uh, compile data, decisions, operational information, and help companies uh, create efficiencies that heretofore didn't exist. So in our industry, cellular medicine is still, to be quite candid, in its infancy. There's a tremendous amount to be learned by interrogating uh, the biology of the source material that comprises the cellular medicines, and also understanding the biological activity, the, the performance in manufacturing, the performance clinically, and then using that data to make decisions about selecting products for different diseases, how to, how to administer them, and ultimately how to present them to the regulatory community for things like registrations. We're very fortunate that Palantir not only uh, uh, decided to work with us as a, as a company in cellular medicine, but they also, in fact, um, uh, have an interest in participating as, a, as an equity owner of the company, which, as you know, is quite, uh, quite valuable to us. What Palantir brings to this relationship um, is the ability to work with enormous data sets and help us uh, begin to decipher what's important, what's meaningful for us as we determine which product to take into which disease and what's potentially predictive of the activity, the biological activity in patients. So as you know, we, um, we're, we're very focused on accelerating the time to develop products uh, that can be registered by the FDA. We're also looking at using tools like real world data to help create efficiencies around de developing those products. Uh, and we also need to build a, a large uh, and, and um, capable data system which can accommodate 
enormous numbers of, for example, donor cell lines. Every donor comprises a unique genome and the ability to manage that enormous data set is something that our industry can dramatically benefit from. There may be a potential avenue in the future to move away from treating vir viral illnesses with antiviral agents, which tend to be anti-metabolic uh, uh, agents, to actually augmenting a patient's immune system so they can put up a better fight against the threat. Now, in the case of COVID, we were able to identify the virus, but COVID-19 might in fact be a dress rehearsal for the next pandemic. And that next pandemic may be with a, a virus or other infectious agent that we don't identify. So if you have a generic active immunotherapeutic that helps protect the patient from a, a viral illness, that might be applicable across the range of known and unknown viral pathogens. And I think that that's a very meaningful place for immunotherapy to move in the future. To summarize, cellularity for me is an exciting biotech with a huge pipeline that even if just one therapeutic drug is successful, could send the company and its stock into hyperdrive. Until then, we know it's going through a SPAC merger and the current price is basically at $10. And we know that on announcement of the merger, it did run up to $12. So the current price for me represents a good entry point. Put together, that the lead candidate is a potential COVID-19 cure. And the fact that they have Palantir software moving forwards, I think the future is very bright for cellularity. We also have to note they have the license agreements for BioVance and Interfil, and they have John Scully. This may be a long-term hold, as forthcoming catalysts don't seem to be coming soon. The closest is news of the COVID-19 phase one results. However, as we saw, they do have what appears to be a strong pipeline. The one thing we should weigh up is that the public shareholders of the SPAC will only account for 17% of the company. Once the merger goes through, 74% will remain with the current cellularity shareholders, which means once the lockout expires, we could be in for a big sell-off. According to the merger prospectus, it states the lockup agreement will be the earlier of either one year or if the stock hits $12 price or more for 20 trading days within any 30 trading period, commencing at least 150 days after closing, meaning the lockup period would be a minimum of 180 days or six months after the merger. We should always bear the lockup period in mind when drafting a game plan for any SPAC. I believe long term this could and should be a $10 billion company if their pipelines start becoming commercialized, meaning I see the stock hitting 70 to $80. However, the time frame I believe could be upwards of five years. Having said that though, with Palantir injected into the DNA of the company, we could perhaps see firsthand the effects of Foundry applied to a biotech company. Thank you for watching and please do note I am bullish on cellularity, so please take my drill with precaution and always do your own due diligence. If you are interested in other W PG stocks that I have in my freedom portfolio. Please check out my other videos and consider, go on, consider, just consider subscribing to my channel so you get the information first. I am the simple trader and I try to keep this simple and will simply see you next time.